What's up? I'm Jeff. I'm Jamison Redding. And uh, we're gonna put this Torquedo Ultralight 403 AC on the Blue Sky Angler 360. Hey guys, we're digging out of a snowstorm. Epic amounts of snow for Rhonda, North Carolina. You should definitely look that up. It's a very big town here in North Carolina. We had about 18 inches of snow, so overlook this mess but i'm sitting on the angler 360 i've been running the travel motor uh, on the back of mine for quite some time ever since we even had the first uh, prototype angler 360 been very happy with it but jeff wanted to try the 403 so uh, we had a prototype mount put together we don't really know how it's all going to fit and work yet but we're going to find out today so take a look at it so we've taken the rudder system off the back of the blue sky and we've got a plate here that Trey Leach from Innovative Sportsman put together for us that will allow us to use the new mount that's coming out for the Torquedo 403 here. And we can just mount it right up and we should be good to go. One of the things we are going to work on a little bit and figure out is how the steering linkage is going to connect to the Torquedo and still allow it to actuate up and down. So I've been running this setup for a little while. Uh, it's kind of a uh, pre-production or prototype mount if you will uh, to give you a transom mount be able to take the travel motor from Torquedo and I knew as soon as we were going to come out with this blue sky that I wanted the travel motor option um, to be able to mount have the extra power and the tiller drive and this mounts really simple um, it'll just plug into the existing frame that is on the blue sky there's two little caps on the back you can pull off slide this in uh, again, this is a prototype. We just kind of spray painted it and got it working, but I've been running it for a while and it works pretty good and we hope to have something very soon um, to offer uh, to people that already have blue skies that are thinking about getting a blue sky and want the uh, transom mount option um, and, and be able to add the 1003. Works great. We're going to get some data today to see um, top speeds and ranges and stuff, um, but I've been very happy with it and it pushes this boat really well and it's easy doesn't get any easier than that. It's installed. I just got to put the battery and the tiller handle on and we're good to go. You'll notice the tiller handle is a little bit longer. I had the uh, optional tiller extension um, added to this, or I added it myself. I got the tiller extension, swapped the original tiller handle out for the longer one. Um, and that just allows me to get to it a little bit better from the seat. As you can see, it's kind of far back, so I can turn the seat sideways and reach that no problem. All right. While Jameson's getting the rest of his, his gear ready, I'm going to speak to the different options of the, the travel motor. Uh, and, and you can get them uh, directly from uh, Blue Sky Boatworks when you order it as a package uh, with, the, with the tiller uh, extension. Um, but going into 2019, uh, we will transition from this motor uh, which is the 1003 and then the 1003 C the C meaning extra capacity the 915 watt hour battery uh, we're, we're going to transition to an 1103 and and that motor is a direct drive motor uh, which you know this this electric motor right here has a reduction gear which there's a little bit of a whine um, with the direct drive motor that's going to go away so it'll be virtually silent um, there's also some improvements with the um, the transom hardware, the transom design. So it's uh, just a stronger overall design uh, where where it fixes to the transom. Um, there's a lot of different uh, durability upgrades in terms of the the propeller is a um, is actually a lot like a trolling motor um, propeller in that it is somewhat flexible uh when it when it hits something it's not going to be um it's not going to chip or or break it's just going to be it's going to bend a little bit um the other thing that i will say that in my working with with that motor so far uh it's been very good with vegetation um it's it's really come through vegetation very cleanly it doesn't doesn't like to ball up around the center um like can happen with other propellers so the travel 1103c uh, will be an option uh, sometime later in 2019.
we don't have anybody out here today but typically i'll just park in a parking spot kind of rig my boat out if i don't already have it rigged out which i didn't today but and then you'll see i'll just unload it and walk it down the ramp and that way i'm not blocking up the spot and making boaters more angry at kayakers seen a lot of prototypes today prototype mounts that was a prototype transducer mount that I'm working on that would be able to sandwich between if you were running a power pole you'd be able to put that plate on using the four hole pattern that we have on the back for the power pole mount then put the power pole mount on top of it it would just kind of come off the back fold down you could offset it enough to clear the drain plug and also clear the pole as it went up and down so literally just uh, fab that up last night at about nine o'clock and threw it on the boat so we're going to test it out today as well So see I've got the wheels folded straight up and down. You can also lay them down parallel to the boat. The reason I do it is when I really get under power um, with this motor, the back end squats a little bit and it makes the wheel drag and I just kind of like it to be out of the water. So I turn them straight up and I also realize that if I am standing up sight fishing and I'm using my paddle to move the boat at the time, it makes a great place for me to be able to stage my paddle quickly because I usually have a cooler here. So I put the front of the paddle on the cooler in the back I just let rest on the corner of that wheel and it stages it really nicely uh, so and then I've even hung my net kind of off the wheel um, which you'll probably see me do here today all right here we go I've been playing around with it and we have some tweaking to do how you can hear I get up in speed there's a little bit of cavitation so we got a little bit of a little bit more work to do with this one but that's the process the prototype um, you know you you try something you figure out what works if it doesn't you change it and you know you keep working on it until something does one thing that I am really happy with um, that I was kind of surprised because on the steering on you know the stick steer that's part of the blue sky angler 360 is you know it's turning the motor 90 degrees so if here's straight back it'll go from there to there um if you have that much or that little rotation with a kayak it it you know you wouldn't be turning as quickly as i am but i won't tell you that i'm spinning in place but it's turning pretty crisply and that that somewhat surprised me i was disappointed when i saw a 90 degree turning radius but then once we're out here it's got good turning radius so and I think that's a function of the motor being mounted up into the boat somewhat as opposed to all the way on the stern so that's a success um, having the the throttle and the steering right next to each other right you know right where you need it that was the idea that was the whole reason behind all right let's make a plate to put the ultralight on the stern of the the uh, angler 360 that has been a success uh we got a little bit more work to do in terms of the performance uh in terms of of avoiding you know the um the ventilation you know we're, we're drawing a little bit of, of air down into that prop wash and we're not quite we're not quite getting the top speeds that we should uh with this boat so more work to be done but uh certainly i'm, I'm watching jameson out there with the travel motor he's zipping around he's doing pretty good Thank you. 
What is it? 6.4. 6.4 miles per hour? Yep, that's the max. Well, let's get the full full range of, of speeds there. I'm going to hop on there and, and get all that data. All right. And you can try this one out. Sounds like a plan. Cool. It's pretty chilly out here, but we're having a good time testing all these uh, fun motors and prototype mounts. And I will say after, you know, I love my setup with the Travel uh, 1003 on there with the tiller drive, but being able to just sit here and control the, the steering um, like the boat was meant to be um, with these rudder controls, which we've connected to the motor and having the throttle mounted right here to the seat. It doesn't get any easier than that. I mean, I'm just sitting here relaxed. I'm keeping my hands warm, making the minor adjustments, controlling the throttle. We've got some tweaking to do. As Jeff mentioned, we've got a little cavitation, so the motor needs to be a little deeper in the water. Um, but it's going to be a really cool option uh, to be able to take your existing 403 or get one and rig it up to where you can use the steering that comes on the boat and have your throttle right beside of you. And this is, this is actually a lake, and hopefully we're going to go try to find some fish now, but this is actually a lake that is electric only. Uh, it's about eight or nine years old, I believe, maybe a little, little more. And uh, it's ripe. The fishing is really good here during the summer. Never really hit it that much in the winter, but it's uh, 160 some acres. And, you know, to be able to bounce back and forth, look at the depth finder and use these motors is a real advantage on this water. And you can't have a gas motor out here. So um, it's a great option for where we're at and what we're doing. All right. Not skunk today. <laughs> What'd you say? Is 45 degree water? 45, yep. 45 degree water. Just chucking a jerk bait. Not a real big one, but it's a start. <laughs>